Hey guys, today I'll show you how to get an in-game PP display. Yes, that is right, an in-game one, not that it uses OBS or other programs that most people don't care about, an in-game one. Also, before I get into it, make sure to close OSA as it might interfere with PP count installation progress. Alright, to begin with, you'll need to open up your browser and go to this page. I will leave a link in the description so you can easily just copy and paste it. Once on this page, click on the Usage and Download drop box and scroll till you find Normal. Then click on the download link. Once the file has been downloaded, right click on it and select the Extract to Sync option. This will create a folder called Sync with all the PB counter files. Once it's extracted, open the folder and select the sync application. This should open up a window in which you will need to run some commands. Now, in my case, I already have the plugins installed, so the PP calculator has shown up. However, this is not the PP counter as you'll see in a moment. So to get the PP counter working, you need to type in these commands. They will be in the description so you can easily copy and paste them. I won't bore you with the details of what the commands do, but it should be easy to understand as they are quite self-explanatory. The first command that we need to write in is plugins install displayer. Once it finishes installing, type Y, lowercase or capital, doesn't matter, and hit enter. This will restart the commands window and will let us install the next plugin. The next plugin that we need to write in is plugins install overlay. Just like before, it will install necessary files and ask you if you would like to restart. Just hit Y and enter. Finally, enter the command plugins install config GUI. This is the final plugin that we need to install. This plugin will let us customize our PP counter with fonts, colors, sizes, and more options. Now with all the needed plugins installed, type in O space I if everything is installed correctly, you should get a message saying waiting for OSU to start. However, if you've loaded up OSU, you might notice that we still need to edit the configurations of the PP counter as it doesn't show up. To change how the PP counter looks and to make it appear in the first place, you need to type in config into the command window. Then select in game overlay. Then select on the open editor button. Quick note I recommend setting OSU to windowed mode as this way you'll be able to see the PP counter change in real time as you're editing. In this config window, you'll be able to add and edit the PP counter. Now you might see a box already with a bunch of settings that you can fiddle around with, but if not, press on the new button and it should bring up and add the PP counter. Now you should be able to see an empty box in game. This is where the PP counter will be. To actually display the counter, in the MF name field, type in RTPP and click off the text box to update the displayer. And that's it. Now you have a working in game PP counter. However, this is where you can start to personalize the counter to fit your skin or for it to just look nice. By clicking on the select font button, you'll see a window pop up in which you can change the size, font style, effects and the font itself. For some of you, you might have to pick some type of font as without one, it could bring up this warning message. Next thing you might like to change is the colors of the PP counter. You can change the text color, background and border. I like to keep the background and border colors transparent as this way only the text is visible.
The position sliders move the counter and X and Y axis so you can place the counter anywhere you would like. This could be below the health bar, below the accuracy percentage or even above the combo. The pivot option lets you move the display within its borders so you can be very precise with your position of the counter. Next is scale. Scale is similar to font as it lets you increase the size of the writing, however it doesn't maintain the quality of the text, so at higher scales the text can look very pixely. In my opinion, avoid changing the scale setting. Finally, there's a visibility tab. This doesn't need much explaining or tuning as most will be fine with the way it already is. Just before I finish up, I would like to mention that sadly you will need to type O space I into the command field every time you want the PB counter to appear, because sadly it is not set to be automatic. I hope this tutorial helped you, if it did, drop a like, consider subscribing and let me know in the comments down below what's your highest PP play on OSU.